My next guest helps you get your day started delivering the news for you on King 5 Mornings. And now she's reaching even more people with a new digital newscast for Spanish speakers right here in Western Washington. Please welcome to New Day Farah Jadron. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. It's been a minute since I've seen you. Yeah, and I actually just realized that last week has been three years for me here at King 5. Three years at King 5. You took my old job. I did. And did Thanks for passing the baton. Well, no, you do wonders with it. I'll tell you what, it is so exciting, this new venture you have. So tell me about the new project. What's it called? What's it all about? Well, it's called Cinco Cosas a Saber. So what it's about is five things to know about from King 5 each mm -hmm. week. And it's really, it's more than just giving people a recap of maybe the big stories from the past week, but mm -hmm. giving people some upcoming events, celebrating good news within the community, especially for the Hispanic Latino community here in Western Washington, mm -hmm. and letting people know that we hear you and yeah. we want to connect with you more. So this is just one more way to reach all of our community members here across the state. I'm so glad we're doing this. I, I uh, Many people have expressed their concern about after Univision closed, mm -hmm. they have asked, is King 5 going to start doing this? So I'm so glad. And this is something that's very near and dear to your heart. Your mom is Mexican mm -hmm. from the city of Pueblo. Yes. And you grew up speaking Spanish at home. Yeah, and you know, I also want to touch on that a little bit because when you speak a second language or a third or a fourth language in your household, sometimes when parents have first generation American children, yeah. they are worried you're not going to learn English or you won't be accepted by multi-generational right. American right. children that you're going to school with. So we spoke Spanish at home, we spoke Spanish with family members or close family friends mm -hmm. when we would be at the parties on the weekends, that sort of thing, the great barbecues growing up. Uh, but there was always that push to make sure your English was very yeah. strong and everything like that. So I just want people to know that even if you don't speak your language from your culture or you're starting to learn it, like that's great. I you know love that. Do, yeah, do, do what feels comfortable for mm -hmm. you. And then I also want people to know that Cinco Cosas is not just for native Spanish speakers or Spanish speakers. It's for people who might be learning Spanish as well. I've heard that from people as well who maybe they are Hispanic or Latino and they're starting to learn Spanish right. or get back into it. Or people that are of no origin from uh, being Hispanic mm -hmm. or Latino and they want to learn Spanish. I love all the reasons that you mentioned, but why do you think it's so important to have this in Western Washington? I think it's important because you know, we've had more asylum seakers in this part mm -hmm. of the country come from Spanish-speaking countries. We've had people move from different parts of the United States or from around the world and come here. And I think it's just important to have those options available. Maybe people still feel comfortable mm -hmm. getting their news in Spanish while they're learning English or learning other languages. And I think it's a great opportunity for us to provide that for them. Yeah. We're able to. So really, I think the, the question, the statement is, why not? Why not? I agree. I agree. So how can people watch it and you know what is where would you like to take this? Yeah, well it's on every Sunday morning. You can watch it on the live stream at about like nine, ten o'clock. You can start watching it there. Uh, it'll be on YouTube and then it's also on King5.com. We have a landing page for people. It's King5.com slash Cinco Cosas. You can find our newscast there and some other mm -hmm. uh, Spanish news as well. Some of our other translated content from across Tegna and our other sister stations. For now I think it's just great that we have this digital space to have Cinco mm -hmm. Cosas and just to grow it there that um, it can be there whenever you need it, whenever right. you want it. And it's really easy to find. So yeah. perhaps it becomes something that is on more than once a week. Maybe yeah. it's daily. But I think for now, it's just about having that space and, and knowing that people can go there and get in. For me, it's un placer. It's my pleasure. Placer. It's it's part of my heritage. And now it's a part of my job, mi trabajo. Muy bien. Yeah. I just think it's so important that you are able to do this. And I'd like to just mention also that she's also anchoring, reporting, and doing this. So. You're doing this literally as a labor of love for everyone, and I'm so, so glad to see this happening. So if anyone has a story idea, though, how can they reach you? Uh, they can reach us at noticias at king5.com. The email address is right there on your screen. Uh, you can email us in Spanish or English with a story idea or, you know, just a big event you have coming up that you think should be previewed on Cinco Cosas. We'd love to include it. That is so important. Thank you so much. It has been such a pleasure working with you and Thank getting to you. see how you've grown here at King. And Thank I'm you. so excited about this new venture. Me too. Thanks so much. Of course.